Look over at this spiral on the right here. I want you to stare at the very centre of that spiral. I want you to stare at it for 20 seconds. Don't look around. Keep focused on the centre of that spiral. And then at the end of 20 seconds, I want you to look over at my face. OK, on the count of 20, here we go. 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And look back over at my face. Okay, so what you should have seen was my face warping and moving in unusual ways. I added some of my own warping and movement just for effect. It is Halloween after all. Um, so what's going on here? Well, this is a phenomenon known as motion after effect. And the way motion after effect works is we have these neurons in our brains whose job it is to detect movement. And when you are looking at something that isn't moving, those neurons have a kind of baseline activity level. But then when you look at something that's in motion, the activity of those neurons increases. But if you keep staring at something that's in motion, then the activity of those neurons actually starts to creep back down again. And in fact, their baseline response creeps back down as well. And then when you look back at something that isn't moving, your brain tries to work out whether it's moving or not based on the kind of average of the different baseline responses of the different neurons that are responsible for detecting motion in different directions. But because some of those neurons have had their kind of baseline response reduced, you end up detecting motion that isn't there. And you've probably experienced this if you've ever been sitting in a train carriage staring wistfully out the window. When the train pulls into a station and is stationary, you would swear that the train is actually moving very slowly in the opposite direction to where it was going before. And in fact, it isn't. The train is perfectly stationary. What you're witnessing is the phenomenon of motion after effect.